Migraine caused by gut bacteria. One in seven people suffer from migraines. With the majority having an attack more than once a month and about half being severely affected when they get a migraine. Typical symptoms are throbbing headache, nausea and lethargy. Some people also experience a visual aura, as shimmering light in the peripheral vision. Diet, stress and lack of sleep are all known to be triggers, aunt. Hormones are also thought to play a role. Migraine affects three times as many women as men. It is well known that certain foods trigger migraines. Chocolate, cheese, wine and especially foods containing nitrates are among them. So, a connection between what people are eating, their microbiome suspected. Migraine sufferers have a different mix of gut bacteria, which make them more sensitive to certain foods. The researchers from the University of California San Diego and the University of Chicago suggest that migraine sufferers have higher levels of bacteria that are known to be involved in processing nitrates, which are typically found in processed meats, leafy vegetables and some wines. Nitrates from our food are broken down by certain types of bacteria. They are eventually turned into nitric oxide in the bloodstream causing vessels in the brain and scalp to dilate, which has been associated with headaches. When nitrates in food are broken down by bacteria in the mouth and gut, they are eventually converted into nitric oxide in the bloodstream, a chemical that dilates blood vessels and can aid cardiovascular health by boosting circulation. Around 4 in 5 cardiac patients who take nitrate-containing drugs for chest pain or heart failure report similar severe headaches as a side effect. So, the idea of bacteria playing a role in migraine was medically plausible. There's something called a hot dog headache, where nitrates are suspected to be involved. The study, published in the peer-reviewed journal Mzystems on 18, October 2016. Antonio Gonzalez a programmer analyst at the University of California San Diego and the study's first author. Bacteria found in 172 oral samples and 1,996 fecal samples from healthy participants, who had affected with migraine were studied. The results show for the first time a potential link between bacterial nitrate, nitrite, and nitric oxide reducers and migraines by reporting their higher abundances in the oral cavities of people with migraines than in the oral cavities of those who do not suffer from migraines. It is an interesting hypothesis, and further work is needed. If such a link exists we can think about any potential treatments, such as a migraine mouthwash. In the future, it might be possible to have a magical probiotic mouthwash that would alter the balance of bacteria to help prevent migraines. If you suffer from migraines, identifying and avoiding triggers can reduce the frequency. If you suspect that nitrates are causing you migraines, you should try to avoid them in your diet. Keeping a diary can be a useful start, recording your activity, sleep, stress levels, and food and drink can take. Drug treatments are also effective for some people, including triptans, which aims to stop the dilation of blood vessels. Other options include taking non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, such as ibuprofen, and the anti-epilepsy drug, topiramate. The story is based on a study that used data from the American Gut Project. This is an ongoing project exploring the connections between the human microbiome, the bacterial ecosystem inside the body and health. Thank you.